and welcome to Take A Walk With Goldie. Today I will be sharing with you my skin routine, so stay with me. So before I get into what products I use for my skin to make it flawless as possible, well, I'm going to show you how I actually prepare my skin before I proceed to the next stage, so stay with me. So guys, what I like to do to prepare my skin is actually tone my skin first with a face cleaner just to get out all the extra dirt in my pores and I'm using this product from Body Shop it's called Vitamin E it's hydrating toner you know it helps take out all the dirt of your pores and it looks like that that's what that looks like so what I do is I actually put a little a little bit on a cotton pad like so and I clean my skin everywhere mind you I do this in the morning and in the night so guys after I clean my face I want to place a hot towel on my face and this is only going to help open up my pores you know because I need to check if they're blackheads whiteheads whatever it may be I want to take them out without actually destroying my skin so you place a towel like this make sure the towel is warm enough and leave it there for a few minutes Next guys, we're going to use our tool to take out blackheads. Hmm. It's crazy how relaxing this is actually. This works like magic. So guys, the next step we're going to do is actually shaving our face. Yes, I know most of you are going to scream like, oh my God, no. And trust me, I felt the same way like you before. A lot of people said if you shaved your face, the hair was going to grow thicker and more puffy and darker in color. But that is actually not true at all. Shaving your face actually helps eliminate dead skin cells. Yes, and helps your makeup sit so much better on it. And also closes your pores and leaves you, leave you feeling smooth and nice. So trust me, this is something you should try. You don't have to but I'm telling you what I do remember guys do not use a shaving stick a shaving stick is just gonna leave you with bumps so you should buy yourself one of these they are little tiny blades and they are extremely sharp so just be very careful when you do this process make sure you clean this because you don't want no bacteria in it and put that aside now we are going to get into washing the face so there are two things i like to use to wash my face the first one will be my demitol medical soap which looks like that i love this soap because it's me uh, medicinal and it actually takes off all the bacteria of your skin and it's fantastic you can use it all over your body or just your face whichever you prefer that's it and the other product that i love to use which i use almost all the time will be my tea tree oil wash which is like that so guys what i do right now is i use a little sponge i get these sponges from body shop or i use this baby over here which i completely love looks like that so what i actually do is i wet my face a little bit put some of my tea tree oil wash on it like that not too much and then go scrubbing in a circular motion like oh and you're gonna know when to stop because it's going to beep you know it's gonna beep and then you move to another part of your face it feels like massage you see hear the beep and then you move up and once you hear the beep again you go to the other sections of your face this is so much easier in the bathroom, but hey, what are you going to do? And when that is done, you go rinse your face out. I will be back. So guys, I rinsed out my face right now. It's feeling so fresh and so clean because of the tea tree oil. It has that minty kind of feeling. And now we're going to move over to the next step, which I love to use ice ice like that from the fridge from the freezer I mean so what I do with the eyes is I use this ice to run around my eye area you know it actually helps a lot with puffiness of the eyes and dark circles so when your eyes are feeling really tired and you just don't know what to do with yourself just use some ice you know and just go in a circular 
motion around. This part I should tell you is a little bit uncomfortable because the ice is really cold and it just stings. It doesn't sting but it just is a bit uncomfortable. So I do that around. So guys, we finished with the ice right now. We're not gonna wipe our face yet because we're going to be applying our face mask. And trust me when I tell you, one of the best face masks I have tried in my life is actually this one. It's called the Rescue Mask from Evlon. And the box looks like that. This product is so amazing. I mean, they have other different products, you know, cleansing products, but this one is fantastic. Like, you can have a breakout and you just apply this on your face, leave it for 20 minutes, and voila, you have no redness, no puffiness, no nothing. Like, it is divine. Like, I can vouch for this 100%. So what I like to do is, I like to whisk it around, you know, because it has some liquid in it, some water, I think, I don't know. You whisk it around. And then you just apply a little bit on your face, like so. And with your fingers now, you just go in and massage it in. This product is amazing also for men, because when they shave, they get razor bumps, and this actually just puts things back in place, you know, in the right order. So, guys, you can try it also. So we're gonna leave this on our face for 20 minutes. Don't go more than 20 minutes because it's only gonna take your natural moisture from your face, you know, so you don't want your face ending up dry. So just keep this for exactly 20 minutes, wash it off, and then we'll be back. So guys, it's been 20 minutes. I washed my mask off. I feel so fresh, so cool, and I'm so ready for that lotion right now. If you notice from my past videos, you know, the one I did with Body Shop products, you're gonna notice that I used a lot of amazing products from them. And my most favorite was their night creams. You know, it's called Oil of Life, I think. I would definitely leave in the description for you. And that product was amazing. But after 30, I decided to switch up my game a bit, you know. So I moved over to La Mer. That's it right there. And I also use um, their eye cream which also comes in a box like that, you know. These, honestly, are fantastic. I love the texture of it. I love how smooth and soft my skin gets. And let me tell you guys, like I said, we all have different skins. Yours might be dry or yours might be oily or yours might be both like me. So if you're trying to get this product, make sure you explain to the sales lady your skin type so she can give you something that works for you. First of all, we're going to apply the eye cream first because that's how I do it at night. So all you need is a little quantity. You don't need to go crazy on this spot, you know, and plus it's damn expensive, so <laughs> take it easy. Okay, so I just use my nail, drag a little bit out, out, and I just put some dots around. Yeah, that should be, wait, that should be okay. And then when I'm done doing that, I just like to like give it a little quick tap around just like massaging myself you know you have to treat yourself don't cheat yourself guys mm. and now we're gonna go ahead to apply the cream and the same thing with this cream it comes in a jar like this and the consistency is pretty thick so you don't need a lot of it to create a dramatic effect you know all you need is just a little bit and remember, when you apply your face creams, you need to extend it to your neck and your chest a bit, you know. You have to take care of this part up to here because you don't want your neck to start getting wrinkly and then you have perfectly firm face so it doesn't work. So I'm just going to put that in my palm. Start around. Massage yourself, girl. Real spot. So when it comes to your neck, don't go downwards. You have to extend upwards, you know, and just try to massage the zones, especially your double chin, because boy, oh boy, everybody seems to be having double chins these days. So what I like to do with my knuckle, I go like this, like really attack that zone a bit. And then I pull up and around my jawline, I just go upwards. If there's any part of your face that you think is particularly dry, you can add a little bit more because I get more dryness around my nose 
especially in the winter Ooh, and I almost forgot apart from using my Lambert eye um, cream I also love to use these patches from Sephora I think they are completely amazing you know all you have to do is just an easy process all you have to do is open the pack up you know there are little patches that you just place right underneath your eyes and you leave it there for 15 minutes and after that you don't have to wash your face no more you just massage the lotion in with your fingers and there you have it they come in different colors you know this particular one the purple pack is for anti-aging and smoothening you also have for relaxing for um i mean all kinds so you should try it out they're really fantastic finally finally after so long of you asking me to make this um, vlog i finally got around to do it i hope you enjoyed it remember just follow simple steps you know you might not use this particular product you might have your own product but remember to pamper your skin you know take the time out to actually understand what your face needs and your body remember guys treat yourself don't cheat yourself and there we have it guys we are at the end of this vlog and if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to read in the description because I will be leaving links to all of these amazing products so you also could try for yourself thank you for watching till next time